At a price of x dollars, the supply function for a music player is q equals 65 times e to the power of 0.004x, where q is in thousands of units. The first question is how many music players will be supplied at a price of $225 if we're told to round to the nearest thousand? Well, to determine how many music players will be supplied at a price of $225, we need to evaluate the supply function at x equals 225. So q of 225 is equal to 65 times e raised to the power of 0 0.004 times 225. And because we're told to round to the nearest thousand, and Q is in the thousands, we will round Q of 225 to the ones place value, which gives us 160. Which indicates 160,000 music players will be supplied at a price of $225. Next, we're asked to find the marginal supply function, which is a derivative of the supply function. Notice to find the derivative of the supply function, we'll have to apply the chain rule using the derivative formula, the derivative of e to the u with respect to x equals e to the u times u prime. So q prime is equal to the derivative of 65 e to the power of 0.004x, which is equal to 65 times e to the power of 0.004x times the derivative of 0.004x, which is 0.004. And 0.004 times 65 is equal to 0.26, giving us Q prime, or the marginal supply function, equals 0.26 times E raised to the power of 0.004x. Next, we're asked to find the marginal supply at a price of $225, and we're told to round to the nearest unit. To find the marginal supply at a price of $225, we need to evaluate the marginal supply function at x equals 225. So Q prime of 225 is equal to 0 0.26 times E raised to the power of 0 0.004 times 225. And because we're told to round to the nearest unit, and Q is in the thousands, we will round Q prime of 225 to three decimal places, or the thousandths place value. Which gives us 0 0.639. Now remember, this is a rate of change. More specifically, this is the rate of change of the quantity supplied with respect to the change in the price. And again, because Q is in the thousands, 0 0.639 represents 639 units, and this would be per $1 increase in price. Again, as a fraction, 0 0.639 is 0 0.639 over one, where the numerator represents the change in the quantity, and the denominator represents the change in the price. Just remember the change in quantity is in thousands, which is why we have an increase in 639 units to the supply as the price increases by $1, right when the price is $225. So the last part is which is the best interpretation of the derivative. First, we have the quantity supplied if the price increases. Next, we have the rate of change of the price as the quantity supplied increases. Next, we have the price at a given supply of units. And then we have the number of units that will be demanded at a given price. And finally, we have the rate of change of the quantity supplied as the price increases. Well, we know the marginal supply gives us a rate of change, which narrows it down to the second or the fifth option. So we have the rate of change of the price as the quantity supplied increases, or we have the rate of change of the quantity supplied as the price increases. Again, we already said the marginal supply at $225 is an increase in supply of 639 units per increase of price of $1. And therefore, we should select the last statement, the rate of change of the quantity supplied as the price increases. I hope you found this helpful.